It seems impossible to convey into words everything that Milena Benini was and what she meant to Croatian fandom. Certainly, she was one of the greatest Croatian speculative fiction authors of all times, but she was so much more than that. I will not list all the books she wrote, edited or translated, nor all the amazing lectures and workshops she held on Croatian science fiction conventions and elsewhere throughout the years, or all the awards she won, or events she enriched by her presence. To all of us in Croatian fandom, she was so much more than her accomplishments, however great they are. She was a mentor, a colleague, a creative force, a constant. When I met Milena more than a decade ago, I was truly fascinated by her. Her eloquence and vast knowledge of all things geeky, literary, linguistic and feminist impressed me at the very first contact with her. Throughout the years, we talked, she smiled, and I learned. She was a huge role model for me, and she remained so as I grew from a shy author making first steps into writing to what I am today. And what I am today would be very different were it not for Milena, both as a writer and as a person. She encouraged me, taught me, sent feedback to some of my drafts, shared some of her drafts with me, always with a smile. And what she, whatever she had to say about my writing, as much as about life, universe, and everything, I'd listen carefully and take seriously. For she was the Milena Benini, whom I appreciated and whose opinion I valued highly. Throughout the years, I learned so much from her about writing, but also about so many other aspects of fandom and of life. And throughout the years, she became my friend. And losing her hurts on so many levels, personal far more than professional. Milena was one of the pillars of Croatian science fiction scene, an everlasting presence, and she will remain so in spirit, for she will live in all of us, through her works, through her lessons, through inevitable mark she left not just in all fields she worked in professionally, but in all of us as well. Milena taught us how to deal both with words and with people. By editing our books like a skilled therapist, she always managed to ask the right question at the right time. And the books became better, and we became a little bit better each time. We'll keep you in our hearts, and you, you just keep traveling. Often we would sail with Milena down the stream of her thoughts, never knowing what tributary we'd end up in. And there were many, and they were diverse. And that eternal river will always wash against the shores of our thoughts. Many will talk about your work and literary significance, but I will mostly be grateful for showing me how to stay young, what true inclusion means, and that it is okay to just be myself. You're no longer here, but your energy continues to inspire. Quite a paradox this is. In some sci-fi way, regardless of space-time, you continue to impact us, create, and live. Milena's love and passion for writing, for stories, for the genre was so strong it would basically blind you and stump you. And she was equally passionate when it came to creating Excel spreadsheets that were the epitome of unintelligible. Milena provided help and support selflessly. She was a source of knowledge and joy, wonderful company, and a role model. Having known her is an exceptional honor. She was already writing and publishing stories when I was born, thus making a mark on my writing both in the past and forever on. Like a true mentor archetype, you threw a plot twist at us and left us too soon. But don't worry. Stay tuned for all the wonders you've inspired. We've only just begun. Milana Benini guided us through the new and emotional vibrations of a future yet to come. 
Many introverts find it hard to communicate with other people. At least, that's how it is for me. But with Milena, it was so easy, from our very first to our last conversation. She made me feel less like an outsider. She made me feel I was someone who could be understood. And I hope that all the way to the end, she understood how big of a mark she left on all of us, in things both great and small. One of the first things that Milena taught us was to start thinking of ourselves as writers. We protested in vain and refused to accept the exceptional honor of being called writers by an author such as her. She did not yield. If we want to write, we're writers. Not knowing how to write is irrelevant. We would learn. Milena would always have an answer to my questions, no matter how dumb. And there were some dumb ones. Not a it is or yes, but a full answer, beginning, middle and end. No message was left unanswered or unread. She'd take the time to talk to me, even if it was about the dumbest things ever. She was probably the same with everyone else. She was someone who would always communicate, no matter the topic. When Milena opened a portal to Japan for me, I had no idea this journey would involve Japanese, Korean, a few Chinese phrases and expressions in Cree. She took a cup of coffee, wielded it as magic, and turned it into katanas, vampires and aliens, teleporting us directly to Serenissima Resurrecta, Venus, or into a parallel universe. And yes, she knew how to stop time. Writer, translator, editor, lecturer, they say anyone can be replaced. You can't. A guiding light and mentor in the world of translation, a peerless person that has taught me so much. Her face may fade from memory, but the knowledge she handed out so freely never will. Milena's style of mentorship was incredible, imaginative, free, and malleable. She nurtured every style and genre, and this made her special. She motivated us, challenged us, and pushed us beyond our comfort zones. She knew how to draw the very best from each of us. Where Croatian fandom is concerned, Milena was to me first and foremost someone wonderful and dear and always ready with a helping hand. She was also an enormous wealth of inspiration and knowledge and wisdom and living proof that Croatia can make a world-class writer. She opened doors. I became richer by walking through those doors, as did many others. She left them wide open.